Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank or Let Ratchet and Clank HD. Um that means it's 1H better than uh just D. I don't I don't know. Anyway, uh okay, so here's the way this works. Let's start a new game. And uh okay. Um I actually recorded this video already once and sometimes when I start a game from the PlayStation screen, the PS3 screen, it actually keeps the PS3 screen and like low formats the game with the PS3 screen menu screen is the background, and that's what happened with this. So I have to just scrap my first video, and we'll try to recover what I said in the commentary. Okay, Kaizo Plateau, Planet Velden, 11.13 local time. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Okay, meanwhile in a factory on a nearby planet. Okay, approaching planet Velden, eleven forty seven local time. So, hey, Ryan, Let's Play has been bothering me to do this for a while. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. The Help Desk is a free service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. All right. So, this is Ratchet. He has a, a wrench. It's his weapon. You hit the wrench. You hit things with the wrench. They die or explode or whatever. So, uh, boxes will give you bolts. Bolts are the in-game currency. One of the things we should do, open the menu, and I actually want to turn on subtitles, because they're going to be on in later videos, and I want to maintain the illusion that uh, this video was recorded first, even though it was not. So long, illusion. All right. So, uh, if you press uh, L1, you go into look mode. Same thing with uh, L2. R2 and R1 will crouch. If you press square, for your wrench, it throws, otherwise square just swings, X is jump, X and square is this, circle is your auxiliary weapon, which in this case is a bomb glove, and triangle is your quick select screen to select different weapons, right now we only have a bomb glove. Now I think that should be pointed out, well let's kill some enemies, uh, by hitting square. All right, is that the wrench has a slight magnetic property, so it will pick up nearby bolts, bring them to you. And that will not be tremendously useful. I also want to say, and I said this in my first video, as long as I don't fall off a ledge in this first world, I'm already doing better than Hey Ryan Let's Play did in his playthrough of this game. I think he went, oh, I died, lives don't matter. Like, I think that was his response. Like, which is true, he did die, and lives don't matter, but it's the tutorial level. 
Um, style matters. HRLP style matters. Messages by pressing the triangle. To disable help desk messages, please select options from your pause menu. I love the help desk message about getting rid of annoying help desk messages. I don't think I missed a gold bolt yet, but I might have. I don't know if there's any in this first level. Oh, he's gonna get me! Oh, he didn't get me. Alright, so let's beat up this box of blue stuff to get the health replacement thing. That's Nanotech. Whenever you sustain injury, let Gadgetron's patented Nanotech system rebuild your body from the inside out. Alright. So yeah, Nanotech uh, replaces one point of damage. You have four life bar, or uh, you can take but you take three hits. The fourth hit will kill you. Which, again, lives don't. It's an like infinite life game, so. I mean, kill you as in reset you to the last checkpoint. I'm gonna end up falling off a cliff because I talked all that crap. Let's see if we can get this bolt. Wow! We actually hit the bolt. Okay, that's alright. Later there'll be some other crate and bolt dynamics. Uh, there'll be things like gold bolts to collect. I think there's 40 in the game. This is a, this was a, a PlayStation era platformer, so there are skill points. And... Okay, so uh, circle switches to my bomb goal of automatically. And then you can see the targeting circle underneath this guy. Throw a bomb. He blows up. It's easy. The uh, crates with a G on them are ammo. So, we, we should get bomb glove ammo, because it's the only ammo we can get right now. To use your bomb glove, press the circle button. There we go. Turn the circle button again to fire it. You can also use it in first person by holding down the L1 button. Using weapons in first person will be important, but not for the bomb glove. Run away. Yeah. You You know who's got the bomb glove! The bomb glove does do a little bit of auto-targeting, so be prepared for that. Uh, this is going to be a short video because I've already played through this area like four times. Alright. Yeah, once for practice to see how I like the game. Because I've never played this game. And then once for... Uh, once for the video that failed. So this is actually my third time through, but... It would have been my fourth if I would fallen off a cliff. Because there was no way I was going to let, you know, myself not be able to to talk about that. Alright, uh, let's go uh, examine the crash site. Oh wait, you know what? Before we do that, I should say some things. So, uh, select gives you um, an, objection, an objective screen, investigate crash site, um, and some overviews, previous magnetic track zoom, but we can move around uh, if there's bigger areas of this planet to explore. Our next planet, well actually we'll talk about, has like several ways you can go. So yeah, that's the select screen, and then the start screen will allow us, um, gives us a weapon screen, a gadget screen, quick select, and we can arrange that, so we can just, yeah, quick select things, um, an item screen, gold bullets find, found used, there's none in this area apparently, uh, help screen, option screen, that's it. Interesting. Yay! You're quite handy with your wrench. 
You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreg, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Look, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! So, you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Clank? Where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Alright, so a few things. So this is our first planet we've traveled to. Uh, as you can see, as I said, in case I don't show this in the next video, there are multiple routes we can go here. And, I believe, if you actually removed mass from a planet in its orbit, because it would have to conserve either energy or mass, by losing mass it would gain velocity, or it would gain momentum, I guess momentum. And so, instead of actually spiraling into its sun, it would actually um, spiral outside of its orbit, and it would drift away from the sun. I mean, that's just what I think, uh, but I'm pretty rusty as far as physics go. But that's my guess. 
And there's a lot to be said about that. I mean, it depends on if the equipment actually slows the entire planet down and sucks away a lot of that energy, then yes, the planet slows down, it would spiral in. But I think actually, I don't know. I don't know, but I, I would, yeah, I would think it would gain, I, I think it would, I think it would, its orbit would, I don't remember what they're called. It's like a decaying orbit, and then the other one, I, I don't remember what is, but our, our moon is doing it. Like, our moon is getting six inches away, further away from us every year, or or something like that, or maybe it's every decade, or every, I don't, I don't know. But eventually, it will go spiraling off into nowhere, and we'll be left without, and then um, one of the moons on Mars is doing the opposite, uh, the tiny one. I don't remember. Mars has two moons. One of them is kind of a joke. And uh, it's going to, you know, it's it's decaying. Its orbit is decaying. Anyway, so we have another video coming up. It's uh, part two of this uh, PlayStation-era classic video game. And I'll see you for that. Bye, everybody.